So in this video, I'm going to show you a really simple way that you can grow your business blog to $100,000 a year, $200,000 a year, $300,000 a year or more purely by using free organic SEO traffic from Google. So it doesn't include any revenue that you could generate from running ads or cold outreach campaigns, anything else like that. And the strategy that I'm going to show you isn't just theory. This is the same strategy that I use for myself and my clients to help them generate new leads and clients predictably in their business every single month. Now, organic SEO traffic from Google is, in my opinion, the best type of traffic you can get for your business because number one, it's highly profitable since you don't need to spend any money on ads to get traffic. Number two, it's evergreen because once you rank for a profitable keyword, you can generate revenue from that keyword for many years into the future. And number three, it's fully automated because you can set up a system on your blog that automatically converts cold traffic into clients while you sleep. And what's great about this strategy is that if you sell a service where a new client is worth $1,000, $3,000, $5,000 or more, you only need a handful of clients to convert every month from a small amount of traffic to grow your business revenue to six figures and beyond. And even though you could use this strategy to sell affiliate products or services too, which is something I do for a small percentage of my business to generate some passive monthly income, you will easily generate a lot more revenue by getting clients from your business blog and selling a service that solves a big painful problem that people have. So the next logical question is, how do you do this? Well, let me walk you through step-by-step step what I've done so you can do the same thing for your business blog. So step one is to target low competition and high profitability keywords by combining your services with niches. So let me explain what I mean by this. So let's say, for example, you are a web design company. It will be very difficult for you to rank for the keyword web design company or web design services or something like that. Because if you look at the competition and the keyword difficulty, it's going to be extremely difficult to do this. But what you can do instead is you can target specific keywords related to your services with a niche. So instead of targeting web design services, you could target web design services for accountants or for bookkeepers or for insurance agents and so on. And to give you a real life example of how I've done this in my own business, in my business, I help people generate leads. But if I was to target the keyword lead generation, as you will see here, it is a very difficult keyword to rank for. And if you look at the competition, you'll see that uh, a lot of the top websites are really big companies with really big websites like HubSpot and Salesforce and even Wikipedia is up there in the top five results. So instead of targeting a very high competitive keyword like this, which will be almost impossible to rank for, I target keywords that are related to the services I provide, but I combine this with a niche. So for example, one of the niches I work with is accountants and tax planners. So if we go to Google and type in how to get tax planning leads, you will see that my website should appear somewhere on the first page. Actually, it's in the number one spot here. Uh, so this is an article I've written on how to get accounting and tax planning leads. And you can see here, because it's very specific, it's not just saying how to get leads, but it's saying how to get tax planning leads, it's able to rank on the first page of Google. So what you can do is you can create lots and lots of different articles like this. Uh, it doesn't have to just be one niche or one industry. You could target lots of different industries. Uh, and that way you can get traffic from a lot of different keywords all related to the services you provide, but for different industries. And you could even go much deeper than this. So instead of targeting uh, lead generation, which is the topic as a whole, there are specific things inside of lead generation that I can help people with. For example, Facebook ads. Facebook ads is one of the things that I help my clients with. So instead of targeting the keyword Facebook ads or how to get Facebook ads or something like that, that's going to have a lot of competition. Instead, I can target keywords related to Facebook ads and then combine it with a niche. So for example, if you type in Facebook ads for financial advisors, which is another niche I work with, you should see my website somewhere on the first page. Uh, so let's see, so it's in the third position, it looks like here. So one, two, three. Yeah, so it's in position number three for Facebook ads for financial advisors. So this is again, another example of how you can rank for different keywords related to the services that you provide by just combining that keyword with a specific niche. And if you create a lot of different articles like this, each article can generate new clients for your business. 
And the great thing about targeting these keywords is that they typically have low competition, a decent amount of monthly search volume, and most importantly, they convert visitors very well into paying clients. So out of all the different articles I've created on my blog, these types of articles combining your services and the niche are definitely one of the most profitable. One final example on this is this article I've created here. So instead of targeting the keyword best website builder or website builder or something like that, what I've done instead is I've targeted a niche with the keyword best financial advisor website builder. So if you go to Google and type in best website builders for financial advisors, you should be able to see again my website somewhere on the first page. In this case, it is in the number one result. So even though this article isn't really specifically geared towards getting clients, this is more of an affiliate article. So there's links to different uh, website builders people can sign up with. It's still another example of ways that you can target and rank for keywords that convert really well, but also at the same time don't have high amounts of competition. Now, before you get too excited and go ahead and start creating one or two articles like this, I do want to let you know that just creating one or two or three articles like this isn't really going to be enough to rank at the top of Google. Which brings me to the second step to getting clients from your blog, which is step two, monopolize your topic. So the more articles you create on a specific topic, the more Google will think that you are an authority on that topic. So that means if I want to rank for keywords related to lead generation for accountants, I need to write about other topics related to lead generation and other topics related to accountants. So that's why I've created articles like how to get accounting clients or what is the best tax accounting software for self-employed business owners. And I've also created other articles around lead generation, such as the best lead generation strategies or the best AI lead generation tools. So each of these articles will get a little bit of traffic like this one. Let's see, probably 100, okay, two, well, 180, one to 200 visitors. It looks like it's gone down a little bit, but I don't really mind too much because articles like this are really here to support the main articles like this, which is all about generating leads for accountants or whatever niche it is that I'm targeting. So in your website blog, remember, the more articles you create around a specific topic, the higher the chances are Google will view you as an authority on that topic and then reward you and rank you for keywords related to that topic. So now that you've got people going to your articles, chances are they're not just going to contact you from the article in order to work with you. Because most of the time, if someone finds you from a Google search, this is the first time they've ever heard about you. So they don't really know you, like you, or trust you yet. So this is where you need to implement step three, which is to convert leads into clients automatically. And to do this, you need to learn a little bit more about conversion optimization. In other words, you need to learn how to convert strangers into clients and how to do this automatically. And hands down, one of the best ways you can do this is with an automated sales funnel. When done correctly, an automated sales funnel will turn strangers who have never heard about you before into people that know, like, and trust you and are actually excited to work with you. So to learn how to create an automated sales funnel, just click the link in the description of this video to watch my free masterclass training, which goes through how it all works in more detail. I literally walk you through the whole process step by step. Once you have your automated sales funnel up and running, here are some strategies that you can then use to convert these website visitors into leads and clients. So strategy number one is to link to your sales funnel all throughout the article. So you'll notice throughout this article and all of my other articles, there are links going to my free masterclass, which is basically my sales funnel. So there's a link here. If we scroll down, there'll be another link somewhere. There's another link here. And basically there's links all throughout the article going to the sales funnel. So if anyone clicks on one of these links, they'll go to my opt-in page uh, where they can learn more about how I help them solve this problem that you see right here. So I've got a video that explains how to do this. It's the same video that I'm using here on YouTube. But the point is that when people watch this video, I provide a lot of value. I provide a lot of helpful information. And the idea is that when people watch this, they trust and like you a little bit more because they can see how you can help them. So on my blogs, I like to include links to the funnel at the beginning, at least once, and then in the middle a few times, and then once again at the conclusion of the article. Strategy number two is to use exit intent pop-ups on your blogs. So most people that visit your website from a Google search will not return to your website again. So you need to do everything in your power to convert them. And one of the ways you can do this is by showing a pop-up when that person's mouse leaves the screen, as you can see here. 
And then what happens is just before they're about to leave the website, they get one more chance to go into your sales funnel and watch the video that you've recorded. So just in case they didn't see or click on any of the links that go to your sales funnel in the blog post, this is another really good way to get them to convert before they leave. And again, if they click on that button, they'll be taken to your opt-in page, which is your page where they can enter their name and email to watch the video that you've recorded. Now, if these two strategies still don't work, one of the last things you can do to convert visitors into leads and clients on your website is to retarget people that visit your website. And you can do this by either running ads or you can even do this by using this new tool called customers.ai. So let me show you what it looks like. So what this tool does is that if anyone visits your website from the US, it identifies about 25% of these people, even if they don't fill in any forms on your website. And what happens is if these people that visit your blog don't convert into leads and go into your sales funnel, this tool will automatically identify who they are so it will get their name and email and then it will automatically cold email them a link to your funnel where they can sign up to learn more about how you can help them. And I'll also include a link in the description of this video if you're interested in getting a free trial of customers.ai to try out for yourself. Just keep in mind though, it only identifies anonymous visitors that go to your website if they are based in the US. And if you'd like to learn more ways you can get leads, appointments and clients in your business using Google, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook and even TikTok ads, be sure to click the link in the description of this video to watch my free masterclass training where I go through how it all works in more detail. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side.